Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And we are looking at uh, brilliant sunshine out there right now. It's officially spring. It kind of feels like it as well. Spring officially sprung at 629 this morning. Let's take a look at what's going on out there right now. Our live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. I'm not really tracking uh, anything uh, out there at the moment. I really don't expect to be throughout the uh, rest of the afternoon. I think we're just looking at lots and lots of uh, sunshine threat tracker for today, Tuesday and a Wednesday, all in that low category. Category. Blue skies in the hurricane barrier cam. We've got blue skies down here in Newport as well. Almost looks like spring or maybe even summer. All the boats here. Temperatures 47 in Providence, 47 in Newport, 48 in New Bedford, westerly at 49, 48 degrees in North Kingstown. Wind about six miles an hour. Satellite radar picture. We've got a storm system off to our east. We've got clear skies across all of New England. Not really tracking a whole bunch going on locally. Just this uh, little swirl. We've got some uh, a little vortex swing <laughs> moving away from New England right now heading on off to the south and east. That's about the closest weather system that still kind of have an, it has an impact on us and that's mainly the light northerly winds that we have. We're looking at clear skies for the afternoon right into the nighttime tonight. Now late tonight some clouds will be arriving but will be staying dry. Notice tomorrow you'll find some extra clouds around be a little milder too with temperatures in the 50s but I think we'll have a dry day for you on Tuesday. So let's break it down forecast for this afternoon. Upper 40s, maybe around 50 degrees in some spots, which is basically on target for the average temperature for the date. Future cast for tonight. Overnight lows about 32 with the clouds arriving, but staying dry, so not terribly cold for tonight. Here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. Let's go through this. Obviously today looks good. There are those extra clouds for Tuesday with temperatures starting out in the 30s in the morning. An overnight low 30 32 rising through the 30s in the morning getting into the 50s in the afternoon with uh, lots of clouds around. But again, staying dry. The clouds clear for Wednesday. Problem is we are looking at a couple of cold days. So we go from spring Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We are looking at some colder weather. Yeah, winter kind of makes a comeback here. Much colder temperatures. The average high for Wednesday is 50 degrees. So we are going to be a solid 14, 15 degrees below average on Wednesday. Thursday, we're looking at sunshine temperature still in the 30s. Friday, we'll find some extra clouds around. Wouldn't surprise me if there's a rain or snow shower around uh, late Friday into uh, Saturday, uh, Friday night rather. Saturday, quite mild, 58 degrees, some clouds around. On Sunday, we are tracking a system that could bring us some rain, maybe even a little bit of snow first thing in the morning on Sunday, and that's a long way away, but it's something that we are keeping our eyes on. Tony's got the updated future cast later this afternoon on Eyewitness News beginning at 5 p.m. Just the fact that we're in the 40s and 50s for the first two days of spring, that's encouraging. It, it's a good sign. That's right. Just ignore the middle <laughs> of the week and we'll be good. We bounce back. It's, <laughs> it's a good looking seven day. All right, TJ, thanks so much. Now, stories coming up live at 5 tonight. We're